Hey YouTube, Reptile Day 98 here, and we're going to do some Crested Gecko care. Crested Geckos are a great beginner reptile, or not just for beginners, but for everybody. I would recommend a Crested Gecko to anybody. Everybody. Beginners and experts. They are from New Caledonia, make, so they are tropical, as well as arboreal, meaning they need um, a tank that is taller than it is wide and high humidity levels. They also require foliage in the tanks to stay um, to stay hidden and so they can feel secure. Now, this guy, he is Chris Gecko. They do take a while to mature. Um, it's about usually a year and a half to two years for them to get be fully grown. Fully grown, they'll reach about about what, eight month eight uh, eight or so inches. Um, they they um they're fun fun little geckos to watch. You get to observe them while they do their natural behavior. Now they need substrate for instance the tank when they're young the tank can be about can be a critter keeper even because they will be tiny when you first get them if you're getting a baby. They will be extremely small so a critter keeper will work that's about the smallest you want to go then you can upgrade to about a 10 gallon a few months later and then after that you can either choose to update to a full grown tank or another size up full grown tank could be about a 20 gallon tank just put on its side uh, it's sort of a typical thing that everybody does um, exoterra tanks are really great because they have a latch and it, they're meant to be they're meant for reptiles so that makes them cat proof or whatever you have you know um, now for food they will mostly eat crested gecko diet now what crested gecko diet is it is, um, it is just basically a formula created by Alan Rapashi, which I recommend getting Rapashi Crested Gecko Diet. Um, and in the wild, they eat mushed up rotting fruit and stuff, so this is ba exactly that. Uh, and it has all the nutrition, nutrition that they need in it to survive. For living, they will live to about, if properly cared for, they would be about... Typical is about the same as leopard gecko, you know, uh, 10 to 15, or 15 to 20 if ex cared for very well. Uh, they have a nice long lifespan, so that's another thing about them. For food, they also will eat crickets. Now, for crickets, make sure that the cricket size is not bigger than the space between their eyes, because um, they can choke on it and possibly die. Um, so, every time you feed crickets, though, which should only be about once or twice a week, so that they don't get addicted and stop eating their crested gecko diet, um, they'll always be calcium dusted, okay? Always. Even if you just want to feed one, it should still be calcium dusted, just because they, if you're going to feed crickets, they need the extra boost of calcium. So, that's a good plan if I were you. Um, like I said before, the tank is going to need lots of foliage and stuff. For mine, I have, I just jumped, for mine, I've got some... I've got leaves and branches and jungle vines and all that good stuff. Now, these guys are generally very tame. You will find that they will enjoy to sit in your hand and absorb the warmth. It may take a while for them to get tame as they are. They do jump. And you'll see that when I put them back in this tank. They do jump. So you have to be careful. Since they are boil, they can take a longer fall, but it's still, I mean, you don't want them to just test it. Now, as I said for food, water, they cannot see, they cannot see still water, so a water dish um, that you can teach them, and I have a video up on teaching them on my channel, so go check that out if you want to know. Now, you can teach them that, but that does not make it easy. They still, you need to mist the tank even to keep up the humidity. Now, for misting, you will what is required is a um, um, spritz bottle, uh, you know, something that you, it's like a sprayer that you can just pump the handle to, like a hairspray thing, but never use hairspray, always buy ones that have not had chemicals in them, because that will be deadly for your gecko. Um, in the tank, hides are not necessary, but they can give that extra bit of comfort that your gecko needs. Um, the temperatures in the tank should be, they thrive at about room temperature, making it another great thing to have about crested geckos. 
So about 72 to 78. 78 is about the maximum you want to go, as they can actually die if it goes from eight, if it goes over 80. So always be prepared for that. Don't ever put them in a tank that is too warm. Uh, so 72 to 78. Humidity levels should be about. Yeah, you can reach these temperatures by just keeping it. Oh, you might want to let it drop by the night, but you can just get a thermometer. Digital or analog, they both work great. There are a lot of bad things that people say about analog, but let me tell you, mine says the exact same thing. The way you can test it is the, your house thermometer. See if it says the same thing as that, and then you'll know if it's right or right. Um, now, humidity, you also want a humidity gauge. gauge um, and what they will do is you want to mist the tank. So during the night, where when you're sleeping and they're awake, you will want to mist it extra heavy so that the plants are dripping, so because that's how they will drink their water. And you want to mix, will mist it extra heavily and make sure that you get everywhere. Um, so at the nighttime, it should rate the humidity should be about 80 to 90. 90 is about the highest you want to go, uh, and at the daytime, you, it'll go to you can let it drop to about. Let it drop to about six. Uh, sorry, 60. You can let it drop to 60 or 50 again at the lowest. Uh, and you can maintain these usually by misting it twice a day or three times a day. I mist mine twice. Once in the morning when I wake up, right. that'll raise it up. Um, it's like it'll raise it up to about probably about 70 or so, and then it'll slowly go down again. It'll be about 55, 60 when I miss it again at nighttime. So yeah, that's a just a technique for you guys to know. Now, crystal gecko diet. I also have a video of how to prepare that. It's very very easy. Let's put this guy back, and I'll show you what I mean when I say jump. Oh, this is what I mean. Like they they jump. Yeah. See. And by Mr. Bottle, I just mean one of these. You know, like the typical. Typical spray bottle. Pat and the Rapashi Crested Gecko looks like this. Um, I recommend this brand. It is the best. Um, there's just no, no thing to it. And if you read the ingredients, you'll see all the good stuff that it has. So it's really good for your gecko. But you always want a varied diet. It's always better for any, any living, any living creature. Um, so yeah, over here it is quite expensive. About twenty dollars. I don't know what that's like wherever you are. I don't know if that's a lot of money or not. But here it is. So yeah. I mean, that's it. They're really fun geckos to have, and I recommend them for anybody. So go go to the pet store. The oh, don't rely. I mean, <laughs> oh my god, don't rely on this video only at all. Like not only. This is a good source of information that I'm giving you, but it's not. You can't just re watch this video and go buy a crested gecko. Read care sheets. Watch other videos. Read books. Just research on the internet. You know. That's you need to do all that, and I'd recommend at least four four weeks to four four weeks to four months before you get one and kind of test yourself during that time. So yeah, that's um, Crested Gecko Care. That's what they need. And that's all there is to it. They're really, really f And I really love them. Uh, they're really fun. Really, They stay relatively small, so your household can't really complain about that. But yeah. So enjoy, enjoy your new Crested Gecko whenever you get it, guys. See you later. And you want some floor space only around the crystal gecko bit or you can get uh, like magnet things that hold on the wall so it's really up to you when it comes to cage tank design so rate comment and subscribe guys and have a good day or night bye